Do you think there also needs to be a jobs plan as well for all the people who are working in coal mining over a 10, 20, 30 year period? Where will they be working if this industry falls over? Look, a very good example of that at Port Augusta when the Northern Power Plant, the largest coal-fired power plant in South Australia, closed earlier in the year. There was 200 odd jobs lost, but at the same time, um, a new clean tech um, uh, agribusiness started up right next to um, that, uh, Sundrop Farms was the name of it, producing tomatoes, that created 200 permanent jobs. So that's the sort of transition we need to see, where there's investment made in clean and sustainable technologies that give people a great future in the right sort of time frame for those who are losing their jobs in older industries. And could I say quite a few people from Northern Power Plant just transferred directly to Sundrop Farms. Okay, Professor Tim Flannery, always great to chat. Thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you so much.